The UFC rankings are out and we're gonna talk about Forrest's favorite thing, the pound for pound rankings. I'm Matt Perino. I'm Forrest Griffin. He thinks I hate the pound for pound rankings, but for once they actually make sense. We'll tell you about it later. All right, John Jones, Demetrius Johnson, number one and two in the pound for pound rankings, both went out at UFC 197 and performed well. Demetrius Johnson was spectacular. He finished Henry Cejudo to retain his UFC flyweight title for the eighth straight time. John Jones beat Ovin St. Pru. And he was, eh, he was all right. So where do you have him for us? Number one and number two, who do you put at number one? First, yes, that green shirt, lime green no less, does bring out the redness of your sunburn and possibly even your hair. John Jones could have finished. Uh, I don't know what happened exactly. I don't know what we decided, but OSP didn't have a left arm. Was it his left arm? Yeah, the broken. whole fifth round. Oh, was it? Yes. So I didn't even know. He didn't have a left arm the fifth round. I noticed, John Jones didn't notice. I, I don't know what he was doing. He didn't throw a lot of punches. He foot jab with that mean little foot jab. I hate the foot jab. Mm -hmm. I hate the foot jab. Uh, but John Jones doesn't care to be likable anymore, so who cares mm -hmm. if I like the foot jab? A lot of people weren't too impressed with Jones' performance, but as Daniel Cormier, his biggest rival, said, he still won every round and even on one judge's scorecard, 50 to 44. It's pretty good to have a bad day and still dominate like he did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even know that he had a bad day. The first 10 minutes with a guy like OSP, whoa, this guy's got a similar length. He's got big power in the left hand and left leg. He's an awkward guy. He's very unconventional. So the first 10 minutes, figuring out a guy like OSP, I give you a pass. But then, round three, round four, what I saw was that OSP was a guy in the habit of training for three round fights. They found out about this fight three, a little over three weeks ago. He wasn't in shape for round four and five. John Jones obviously was, and he didn't capitalize on it. Mm -hmm. With that said, I finished zero fights in my career. Speaking of finishing fights, Demetrius Johnson finished Henry Cejudo in amazing fashion. I mean, this guy just keeps getting better and better. Five finishes in his last seven fights. The flyweight king of the world for all time. How is he not number one in the rankings? At 125, he is the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Unfortunately, he has not fought great people. John Jones started his career fighting great people, and John Jones has pulled an Anderson Silva and thinned out the rest of what would be a competitive 205 division. 125, just not, just not as competitive a division. I think if he wants to be the best pound for pound in the world, he's gonna have to go up to 135. Let's move up to 185. Robert Whitaker, great performance against a very game. Rafael Natal, he doesn't finish him, but he dominates him every minute of the round. He moves no. up to number six. I think he may have, should have moved up to number four, past Michael Bisping. Uh, yeah, you're probably wrong. Just looking at the body of work, Michael Bisping has done a lot more in the sport, been around a long time. Yeah, he's old, but he's still, done a lot more than uh, Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker did look great. One of my favorite fighters to watch. Always very game. I'm right more than him. But let's move on. We're going to go next to the lightweight division. Anthony Pettis, Edson Barbosa. Maybe not quite the fight that we were hoping for. Anthony Pettis still not looking like the lightweight champion that we remember. He moves down to number seven. Barbosa moves up past him at number six. What do you make of it? Anthony Pettis wasn't the quicker guy. Barbosa was. Uh, I thought Anthony Pettis would actually have an advantage wrestling and size-wise. He wasn't a bigger guy. Uh, Anthony Pettis was, a, a, you know, maybe even smaller than Barbosa. The big key, first round, Anthony Pettis would go in, land one shot, come out high, and Barbosa would land a couple shots. And I think that sort of stifled his offense for the rest of the fight. He tried some wild techniques, but he didn't try them in any flow, in any setting where they would be effective. Speaking of wild techniques, how about Yair Rodriguez, a guy that you've oh. liked for a long time. Amazing finish, he debuts at number 14 at featherweight. He's at least the 14th best fighter at featherweight. And he's, you know, at featherweight, he's one of the top five as far as guys you wanna watch fight. I, I love the Feely, props to him. It was a great fight. You know, sometimes you just get flying ninja kicked in the head. These things happen. UFC, man. All right, let's move on to the fan comment section of the show. We're gonna go with Steven Faun this week. If Demetrius can beat Cruz, then maybe he can be the number one pound for pound fighter. But until then, he's number three at best. No one that DJ has beat is anywhere near as good as the competition in any other weight class. The best person he fought was Cruz and he got dominated the entire fight. First note I wanna make here is that he fought 
Dominic Cruz at 135. So not his weight class, a little bit different, how but- long, How long ago was that as well? A few years, four or five yeah. years ago. Okay. So what do you think here? I mean, does, does he have some validation to his point? Well, again, I kind of echo the point as he hasn't had the level of competition. Maybe DJ's so good, he makes it hard to tell that these other guys are good. I remember not long ago when this was a competitive division, when he went the distance with Creepy, went the distance with Benavidez, uh, won a decision over Dotson. I remember that. And it seems like he's been so good recently that we've forgotten that this was a competitive division. So I disagree with you, Stephen Fong, and myself from earlier. Disagree with both of us. Everybody wants to see this fight now. They talked about it at the press conference. Cruz versus Mighty Mouse. How do, how do these two guys stack up now if they were to fight you know, year, years later? Cruz still has the length and good speed. Uh, at 35, I'm not sure it's any different. Um, you know, I wouldn't even mind seeing uh, TJ Dillashaw fight uh, DJ. As always, go to UFC.com to check out the complete rankings. I'm gonna get out of here, get some calamine lotion on all this going on here. From we, are your, we are your pound for pound number one rankings report team ever. All time, pound for pound best.